Hey, welcome to the Steel Lodge. Today I'm taking a look at the latest release in the Diablo franchise, and that's Diablo Immortal. Now, unfortunately, this game was originally meant to be just a mobile game, but it did get a PC version. I'm going to be checking out the PC desktop version today, running on the Steam Deck. Now, the Steam Deck can emulate Android devices, so I will be potentially looking at that down the line because with this desktop version, there are some problems. Like, for instance, right now, controller support is a little bit difficult to get set up. I actually didn't even get it set up for this video because nobody has seemed to figure it out yet. But I'll cover how to set it up, how to install it on the Steam Deck, and uh, let's just jump right into it. So jump over to desktop mode on your Steam Deck and go to Lutris.net to download the latest version. Grab this command right here and open up your console on your Steam Deck and just paste this and run it. This installation process will prompt you for a couple things. Just pick the latest version here. It's always the bottom number. So just pick that and roll through it. Lutris has a really nice utility meant for Linux gaming that'll help you get games set up on there. It's nice for the Steam Deck to get certain things like Origin or Battle.net installed. So we're going to use it to install Battle.net here. Now we're just going to keep following the guide. Once this is done, we're going to open the Discover Store for the Steam Deck and just search for Lutris there and install the version that's on there. Now that Lutris is installed, you can go ahead and open it on your Steam Deck. It'll go ahead and guide you through the steps. It's a pretty straightforward process. Keep in mind that you can use this to use any Battle.net game, not just Diablo Immortal. Now keep in mind, you can actually install Battle.net through Steam also by adding the installer to Steam and then running it when you have compatibility enabled. However, when you do that with Diablo Immortal, the game will not launch, it'll just repeatedly crash. Here, using Lutris to install Battle.net, Diablo Immortal will run. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the installation to 700% so we can jump right through it. Once Battle.net opens, go ahead and log in with your account and you can start installing the game. The Litrus installer will set open in the background, but make sure you close Battle.net one time at least, and then the Litrus installer should recognize that Battle.net is good to go. Now that we're signed into Battle.net, we're just gonna go ahead and install the Diablo Immortal beta. Now I'm just going to use all the default settings here. When the game installs, it'll install to the same folder that Litris installed your Battle.net folder to. For me, I believe that's just Home, Deck, Games, and in there there's like a Battle.net folder. So it's pretty straightforward, and if you go in Litris, you can see where you installed it. For this, it'll go away once you're done and close down Battle.net, like I mentioned earlier. Otherwise, it'll stay open in the background. Now once Diablo Immortal is done installing, you can just go ahead and hop in the game through the Battle.net launcher. So here I have the Mango HUD in the top left. I'm actually going to do a video about how to set this up because for desktop mode games on Steam Deck, you can't really use the built-in tools to check the performance. So here I have the uh, stats up there just so we can check it out. Now starting off, I'm going to use the high preset and use uncapped frame rate just so we can see what kind of performance we're actually hitting here with uh, Diablo Immortal before we cap it down to 60 FPS. Now some of the footage I captured here is in windowed mode and some of it is in full screen mode. In full screen mode, sometimes I had an issue where the start bar at the bottom of the screen would pop up randomly. Later on in this footage though, I'll go to full screen mode and it stops popping up, so it resolved itself. Now graphics wise, the game looks pretty good for a handheld game. I do think probably the desktop slash PC version has better graphics than the handheld one. I haven't done any direct comparisons, but let me know if you are interested in that and I can check it out. Now we are getting over 60 FPS here pretty comfortably, so I'm gonna go ahead and cap it down so we don't get a ton of tearing in our image here. Now gameplay wise, I haven't done a ton, but the keyboard and mouse seem to work fine here, but it is very clear that this is a game designed for touch screens. All the elements on screen look like they're touch screen elements. Like in the bottom right, you have your mouse, you know, your primary click and your two. Those are obviously meant to be placed where you can hit them with your thumb. And uh, here I just was having a little bit of a problem where I couldn't interact with the game, but there was a little cutscene, so that's why. But uh, yeah, the gameplay is alright. Definitely very Diablo 3-esque graphics-wise, and even all the Diablo 3 classes and everything. So, haven't gone too much further, but obviously there's microtransactions in this game. And from what I've heard, they're quite intrusive and have pay-to-win elements. So, for me, I was just more interested in checking the game out instead of actually being like a real hardcore player for this one. I did enjoy Diablo 3 a lot once, you know, the things got fixed with that game and had a lot of problems when it came out, but with all the expansions and everything, I found it to be pretty fun. Unfortunately, the PC version of Diablo 3 doesn't have controller support like the console ports of it do. 
Now in the top left, obviously we have the frame time graph and there it just spiked a ton when we leveled up. But we are getting spikes at consistent intervals here. It seems like it's just a problem with the game. Uh, maybe there's some compatibility layer issue. So it doesn't feel the best to play on the Steam Deck unfortunately because of this. Now I'm just going to go ahead and let the rest of the gameplay play out by itself without commentary. I will let this boss fight happen and then there's some later gameplay sequences as well that I'll show you. Thanks for watching. and upward. The others are guarding the gates. Get to them quickly. I'm afraid it's not going to Friend, get us out of here, please. Ah, another sacrifice arrives. Through your flesh, the Lord of Damnation shall have his prize. Behold the gift of Hell's new master. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, hit thumbs up and subscribe. 
I've got a lot more Steam Deck content coming soon and just more gaming content in general. See ya.